back to the series and we are learning my school database using command prompt so in this video we are going to learn how to rename my school database well unfortunately there is no way to rename my school database directly but it uh, doesn't mean that we cannot do that it was just uh, removed by the my school community for some security purposes they found that uh, uh, dangerous for my school server but anyway that's no problem we are just going to rename of my school database so in this video we will learn how to take a backup of my school database how to import my school database and how to export my school database so this video is really you know really important for you and you can learn taking backup importing files exporting files in my school server well, before we start working, let's just get uh, a whole empty directory at desktop. Just type empty dir and then b-a-c-k-u-v. You can give any name if you want. Back up, enter. Now switch to this uh, directory. Just type cd backup, then enter. Initially, it uh, does not have any file. So, well, now we are going to take a backup of our existing database. Uh, I'm going to take a backup of examples database. We have been working with this database for a long while. Okay, so just uh, type for uh, dump. This type for. Uh, a SQL dump and the username, password, and name of the database you want to take the backup of. You can also take the backup of all your databases, and you can also specify tables and database, and you can customize this in in your way. Well, I am just going to take a backup of examples database, and here is the name of the file we we are going to create and. We are going to import the data of example database into the file. Well, I just enter. Now we have we have unreal.sql file here with the backup of uh, database uh, named uh, examples data. Please, well, just close that. Now let's go to the MySQL server. Now let's have a look at all existing databases. Just type so databases. Then enter. We have examples database here. Now let's create uh, an empty database. All right. Now let's type so databases. Well, now we have examples database here and here ex1 database and ex1 is uh, an empty database because we haven't yet created any tables just that use ex1 okay then so tables all right it is an empty database and let's have a look at uh, example database as well just switch to example database and then so tables and then just let's have a look at data of this table well we have uh, seven entries for this table and this database well now we are going to import this data this data of uh, examples database and we will import this data into ex1 database we, we just created so we already have a backup file we just took a backup of examples database a while ago so let's go back to the command prompt just type exit enter now let's type mysql username password and then name of the database we want to import in we just create ex1 
and then the name of the file we are going to import we have a uh, anil.sql which is a backup file of examples database here we have this anil.sql we are also in this directory as you can, as you can see here we are inside the backup directory so just type anil dot sql and then enter now we need to enter the password because we left the password permit empty there for some security purposes and then enter well you know we have successfully imported data of uh, anil.sql file into ex1 database so now let's go back to the mysql server again now select uh, ex1 database then type sort tables well we have user table here now just type select all form and we have the exactly same data as we have in our examples database so thank you for watching this video guys i think you found this video helpful well anyway let's see you in the next video thank you